Number five, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a Bronsted-Lowry base. And then we have letter E. So in this case, we just need to write a net ionic equation, just illustrating that S2 minus can act as a Bronsted-Lowry base. Now, uh, just a little background information. Bronsted and Lowry were two scientists that came up with the same idea independently. Um, and they, they discussed what acids and bases do in aqueous solutions. So in terms, of a, in, in terms of a base, they noticed that bases always accept protons, or protons are also called H pluses, or they could be classified as hydroniums. This is the hydronium ion. Okay, so how do we write that via net ionic equation? Well, the base will always add or accept the H plus. So the base and the H plus have to be on the same side of the equation. So this is the base. I'm going to start with that. S2 minus plus H plus. Now, since I'm dealing with ions, they both are charged. With the net ionic equation, that's always going to be aqueous. And since we're also dealing with acids and bases, that's also aqueous uh, solutions as well. Since S2- minus is not on my list of my six strong bases, I highly recommend you guys know your six strong acids and bases because we're going to be seeing a lot of them coming up in the next couple of sections. But since this is not on my list, I will draw double arrows just to say that it's in equilibrium with the conjugate acid, which we're going to make right now. And basically all you got to do is just combine all the elements. So I just have one sulfur and I have one hydrogen. Now in terms of acids, generally the H goes in the front. So I'm going to write the H first and then the S. So I gained one hydrogen. There it is from my S, right? Now all I got to do is just add one to my overall charge. The base was originally a negative one. But now I just have to add one. So negative, oh sorry, did I say negative one? I meant negative two. The sulfide ion was originally a negative two, but I'm gonna add a plus one. So negative two plus one, negative two plus one is negative one. So I could say negative one or just a negative. And also since this is charged, this is also gonna be aqueous. And now we're done. This is your net ionic equation, guys. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, you guys have you guys have rocked this whole experience. Thank you so much. And let's keep let's keep working hard, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.